G'day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Craft by Tim. Today, I thought we should do a bit of a fun project and uh, do, s do some rehandling. In front of me, I have two different knives and we're gonna start off with this little steak knife. And as you can probably tell, the handle is a little bit damaged and that's why we're gonna rehandle it. It's obviously seen the inside of the dishwasher probably one too many times. Personally, I don't condone the uh, putting of knives into the dishwasher. Sometimes we get lazy, so, so we do it. If you have done it, you don't have to worry if the knife that you put into the dishwasher was cheap. If it was a, a good quality knife in general, then um... Look out, because I'll come for you, and I'll put you in the dishwasher as well. That way you know how it feels. These knives have feelings. Not these ones, these ones are cheap. But knives have feelings. Don't, don't put your knives in the dishwasher. So the first one that we have here is a knife that's been through the dishwasher. It's a small steak knife, it's cheap as hell. Uh, I think it comes in like a set of six or nine. We're gonna knock off the handle and we're just basically gonna rehandle it, make it look pretty again. The second one, I'm actually gonna do a lot more work to. This is my cake knife. Uh, and I keep it in my locker at work, which often raises eyebrows right up until someone has a cake. In which case, it still raises eyebrows, but there's cake involved, so less eyebrows. I'm gonna do a little bit of work, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, I'm gonna round over these edges because they're pretty harsh, and I'm gonna thin out the blade a bit because that's like four mil thick. Let us begin with the steak knife. <laughs> So at this point in time we have all of our components, we have the G10 spacer, we have our two sides of the jarra, and we have two stainless steel pins cut off so that they fit through the jarra and they have a little bit of excess playroom. Now obviously we still want to take, uh, take the jarra down quite a bit so what we're going to do is we're actually going to start off by drilling the holes in the G10 and then we'll move on to uh, shaping the jarra. This way we can shape both sides at the same time, so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to add some tape to both pieces of timber. Then we'll add some tape to both pieces of the G10 on both sides. And we're just going to simply glue this on. Just line it up as best we can.
I'm actually really happy with the way that these turned out. Could have probably spent a bit more time just cleaning up the faces of this. The whole point of this process was to work on my handling. And I actually think that this came out really, really quite well. And then for the other one, I'm also quite happy with the way that this one turned out with the G10 spaces in there. It really sort of, there's something about separating material that makes it look really, really clean. Overall, I'm actually a lot happier with the way that these, these two knives feel. So I'll put an edge back on this one and I can take that back to work. And this one, we'll go back into the drawer of steak knives. I don't know, maybe, maybe this will inspire you to give this a go and you might learn a thing or two. And uh, I hope you do, I hope you enjoy. Anyway, I'll catch you all in the next episode when we'll be doing a little bit of leather work. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go fix the door of my car because it got broken into last night. I hope you guys are having a good week and I'll catch you all in the next one. In the meantime, do remember to stay safe, happy crafting, and as always, cheers.